This one. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, we're good. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, God. Until I found her, I said I would never fall unless it's you. Yo allemaal, leuk dat jullie weer kijken naar nieuwe Hot Balloons. Ik ben Casper en vandaag zijn we hier met de enige echte Steven Sanchez. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing really well. Doing good. Really you came good. here really early. Very early. You're alive. Feel good. You feel good. You feel amazing. I drink water and espresso. Hey, the best thing to start the day with. <laughs> We're gonna do a game today. It's called Hot Balloons. You see all these balloons here, different colors. Are they hot? Some of them are hot. Yeah, oh, watch out. You have like the green, yellow, and the red balloons. Sweet. The yellow and green one are more normal questions. Yeah. The red ones are a bit more spicy. So they okay. get the hot, the caliente vibe. Caliente, more caliente, 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 caliente. You can pop seven of them with this thing. Okay. Ah, Amazing. Okay. Hey, we're going right away for the red ones. Wow, this is a crazy question. Perform, collab, or write with Charlie Puth, Ash, or Harry Styles. It's funny because I just met Ash for the very first oh, really? time. And so I got to meet her and kind of build like a, a small relationship there. Cool. And then Charlie and I just got to build a small relationship too. Really? And I don't know Harry at all. So it's like heartthrob of the world, yes. I think, you know? I wouldn't want to steal Harry's thunder because I know shaking his booty on stage is his thing, <laughs> you know? Hey, but you can join shaking the booty, so, you know? That, that might be really cool. Yeah, on, I mean, well, Probably Ash, to be honest. Yeah, like, I mean, I would wanna, I'd wanna watch Harry Styles do his thing rather than like, you know, try and, try and almost compete with someone who's so yeah, yeah, unbelievably yeah. talented. And uh, Ash is just like, so talented as well. And I think like, Okay, so you would prefer with Ash? I think so, yeah. And then ride with Charlie. Oh yeah, ride with Charlie, perform with Ash, why not? Here you go, and then collab with Harry. Great, yeah, there you go. Sounds hey, good. Cheers. Next one. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, these are, wow. How did you get them in there? That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Dilemma. You can never make music anymore, but keep listening to your favorite artists, or you are allowed to create music, but can only listen to your own. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. That's so rough. Well, I, I remember a time, like, before when I wasn't making music at all. And, yeah. Like, how deeply I appreciated the music before. I think now there's like a sense of like music kind of gets lost on you when you start to make it in yeah. a way because you're like so into the, the into it yeah, and yeah. then when you're listening to other music you're like oh I see what you know they did there and here and there and so and, and which which kind of artists were then kind of like your inspirations in the past yeah like uh, bands like Seawolf and Lord Huron and uh, Hamilton Lighthouser okay the album with Rostam so which one would you choose probably never create music again to be honest like because like man I, th I think it's fun to be able to do it and have people relate to what you have to say but i mean i've related so much for a number of years and like okay artists that i've loved i'm like yeah fair yeah Cheers, here we go all right here we go green is again searching for the it's right here Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite thing about the Netherlands? Oh, like right out of the gate, uh, those waffle things. Oh, uh, slow waffles. Yes, those are crazy. Yeah, yeah, those them. are so good. Yeah, I, they like, they have uh, something like that in the States, but instead of it, really? instead of it being like wrapped in a waffle, it's wrapped in two really thin um, gingerbread cookies. Oh. And caramel in the middle. Yeah. Okay, oof, so yeah. really good. Yeah, 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 but these are way All better. Right. Okay. I don't know, something's calling my name. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, no. Uh, this one, yeah. <laughs> Least favorite celebrity you've ever met. I haven't really met a lot of people that have been, uh, like, unkind or anything like that. I'm trying to think. Well, if you if it's too difficult, let's change it then a bit, but let's make it more nice and say, sure. like, your most favorite celebrity you've ever met. Favorite celebrity I've ever met? Yeah. I, I mean, I grew up listening to the band Lord Huron, like, for, like since yeah. I was in middle school, and... You did I meet them. I finally got to meet them, and it was my favorite interaction ever. Like we grabbed beers on the rooftop in New York, oh, nice. and like just it was it was wonderful. It was amazing. So that's that is my favorite thing ever, and probably Ash. She was great. She's cool. a great human. Shall we? Yeah, go for it. Wow, Get that him. exploded. Blah. Most shocking moment with fans. This is a good one. You're playing at Bonnaroo for the first time in Tennessee. And there was this fan that came 
And uh, I went down to the front and like just said hi to some fans before the show happened. This kid, uh, we were talking and he just started crying. And he like grabbed onto me and hugged me like tighter than anyone has ever hugged me before. And it was just like this moment where it was like, wow, this is like a really, like I'm getting to see the impact of, you know, what, you do. what this what music you do. is yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that feels really, really special. And so that was probably the most like, wow, this is, this is wild and shocking and beautiful. To, and to, to, to see like how, what kind of impact you have and what people see through yeah. you and what, how you can help them. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, but that was, that was my favorite and most shocking wholesome moment. We haven't picked much yellow. No, you should do a yellow should one. Should we do yellow? Yeah. What do you think? I would do the middle one. Yeah? What is something you have on your bucket list? There is this venue in Colorado, uh -huh. and it is called Red Rocks. Okay. And I would love to do two sold out nights there and record a live album also, during okay. those two nights. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you come up with this ID? Where did uh, you I just, there's a lot of bands that have, have done it before, and it's just something that I have- In Colorado also. I've always wanted to do, yeah. And I just think that would be the most unreal experience to like, I mean, music as a whole, it like, it immortalizes uh -huh. a feeling. And so to immortalize a moment and several feelings yeah, yeah, yeah. in a show, you know, that would be really, cool. really special. And, and, yeah. and aside music, what would you have more on a bucket list? Like things that has nothing to do with it? Oh, this is good. I need, <laughs> I need to own a classic car in my life. Like a, like a 1956 uh, Chevy Riviera. Okay, why yeah. that one? Yeah, like a red one. Yeah. But why? Why? I just like, I don't know, something about driving. It, it suits you though. It's those old cars, you know, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a, it puts you in this, you know, nostalgic vibe when you get uh -huh. in the car. And I just imagine like, you know, at some point when, you know, I have a girlfriend or whatever, like rolling up to her house and picking her up. <laughs> we're getting that car. Really cool. That's with, with way your, cooler. Okay, we have uh, one to go. One to go. So are we going to go for a green one or a yellow one? Mmm. Go for it. I think so. All right, here we go. <laughs> Until I found you, who is this song about? Until I found you is about a girl that I dated. Yeah. Um, her name is Georgia. She's a wonderful person. I wrote it in the middle of our relationship, um, and that and that's it. Uh, we're no longer together, which is okay. You know, heart behind the song is immortalized forever. And, and what does she think of the song? For well, when I sent it to her, you know, forever and a day ago, she she loved the song a lot, Ooh. and it meant a lot to her. And it, and it, you know, it still means a lot to me, even though you know people have taken it to such a High bigger level. level. Yeah. yeah. So it it, it kind of uh, even beyond just that has has just been everybody's soundtrack you know for their love story cool. which is beautiful awesome man sid bum 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 you want to do them yeah. <laughs> hi i'm steven sanchez thank you so much for watching and don't forget to listen to my new single until i found you I found her, I said I would never fall.